For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Good morning and happy Friday to you. This is the reason that God has given to us as to why we should be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. The wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Regardless of what we are going through, we are called to produce the righteousness of God. Our righteousness was imputed to us through Jesus Christ, through his righteousness, through his death on the cross, through his resurrection. And and once we believe in him, righteousness is imputed to us. But we are also called to practice righteousness. And God will never, ever ask us to do something that is impossible. And even if you think it's impossible, with God, all things are possible. So even in the midst of the trial and the tribulation and the difficulty and the disappointment and the hurt and the trauma, whatever you're going through, make sure that you are doing the things that God expects you to do in order to produce the righteousness of God. Last time we said there's a rightness and there's a wrongness. So no matter what is being done to you, make sure that you are producing the righteousness of God. And I always like to qualify it by saying the only way we can do this is if we take that time to read and meditate on the word of God and practice the word of God on a daily basis, we will now be able to produce the righteousness of God even in the midst of the trials. The word of God also tells us that uh, we will sin, but if you cannot sin with your mouth, you are perfect. Okay, we will sin, but the person who does not sin with his mouth is therefore perfect. And I believe a lot of the sins that we commit, it is with our mouth. It is with our speech. It is with the things we say. And as we said on Monday, the things we say, they really come from the things we are thinking thinking and our speech usually incurs our actions as well. So be encouraged this week that the Lord is with you, that he's there to help you and he's teaching us his principles and precepts so that we can live the successful and pleasing life unto him. The righteous life that Jesus lived, he's calling us to live that life and he has given us the tools. Be swift to hear, listen to each other with hearts of compassion and understanding. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Be slow to speak. Think about what you're thinking about before you speak it and ultimately clean up your mind and think on whatever is pure and true and lovely and of a good report. Do that on a daily basis and you will find you will not produce hurtful, harmful words, but instead you will produce words that will heal. And then you'll be able to be slow to wrath. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Talk about it. Deal with it. Apologize if you have fall in that area and allow the righteousness of God to be manifested and seen in your life for your benefit and the benefit of those whom you come into contact with. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend.